Hello and welcome to this session on how administrators can manage endpoint security policies using Capture Client 3.5. But first, let's do a quick recap of the key concepts. As you will remember from a previous session, the most important feature that's introduced with Capture Client 3.5 is that of scope. Scope also introduces a hierarchy of how policies are inherited from tenants to groups. Inheritance differs based on the policy type, client, threat protection, trusted certificates, and web content filtering can be set either to inherit or not. Device control supports optional inheritance of rules along with custom rules for the specified scope. And blacklists and exclusions enforce inheritance but also support custom entries. When tenants and groups are created, policies are automatically inherited from the parent to provide as a startup policy. Additionally, in Capture Client 3.5, the structure of policies has changed. In Capture Client 3.1, the Capture Client policy acts as a container for multiple sub-policies, threat protection, trusted certificates, and web content filtering. In addition, global configurations were used to set up exclusions, blacklist, and device control. A typical workflow involved creating sub-policies and then assigning them to a capture client policy, which is in turn assigned to a group or marked as default. Let us now take a look at how tenant dashboard is set up and policies are structured and managed in Capture Client 3.5. When we log into Capture Client in a specific tenant scope, we can review actionable intelligence from the tenant dashboard. The focus is on devices, threats, vulnerabilities, as well as on content filtering activity. Administrators can immediately identify issues and anomalies from which an action may be required. The dashboard also shows a summary of groups configured and includes links to download the client or to get the download URLs for Windows, macOS, and Linux endpoints. When we navigate to the policies page, note that there are now seven policy types which includes what was previously configured. The client policy is used to configure versions and now allows for policy specific auto decommission and auto delete. The threat protection policy has been redesigned for the ease of use. Note the setting for inheritance. This allows for auto inheriting settings from a parent level and is typically enabled only for MSSP managed tenants. The web content filtering policy now includes a setting to enable and disable the feature as a part of the policy, allowing it to be disabled on servers or a similar endpoint where it's not required. Blacklists, exclusions, and device control function very similar to how it was in Capture Client 3.1. Policy customization can be easily done by disabling inheritance, for example, with threat protection policy. Additionally, if policy customization is only required for specific set of devices, one can create groups and modify policies specifically for them. Note that when groups are created, policies are inherited by default. Especially note that there is no need to create multiple policies and assign policies or define policy priorities. We hope that this was helpful. Do stay on and review other sessions. We have a lot to talk about how Capture Client 3.5 will significantly improve the user experience for managing endpoint security.